Welcome back guys to Crusader Kings 2 Hashashin's Creed and yeah we are still in this war. I'm not sure if we're gonna win this. It seems like we might not because it's just 15,000 men and I, I basically cannot even hire any mercenaries. Uh, in fact, oh I can! I finally can. The Gilam. Now these guys are actually my vassals so um, you know what? They, they still cost a lot of monthly but they don't cost much to hire in the first place. So I think I'll raise them, yeah. So they're, they're gonna stay, they're gonna, yeah, start in action. That's fine. That would actually, ooh, that's actually enough. 14,000 men? Mm, that might be enough. If we play this smart and get some good commanders, we can win this. All right, cool. Now, uh, this is actually kind of cool because we're the Sultan of the Seljuks. We get this mercenary as our vassal. Um, basically, it's the same as the Fatimids who have the Mamluks as their vassal. And that's really cool. Uh, we definitely gotta have to make use of them uh, a lot. So we not only have the Holy Order that we can raise, but also this, um, well, also these mercenaries. So that's very nice. Now, they cost they cost money, but still, uh, since we're the, the, the Sultan, we actually gain a lot more. So overall, we should be able to sustain this quite easily. Okay, so... Uh, 15, uh, 16,000 men even, and another freaking fa- Dude, why, why is this guy in a faction? I just don't understand. I don't understand. He's she- yeah, he's a freaking ambitious guy, I get it. But, like, what? Can I recruit you to the assassins so you stop freaking being a faction or something? No. Oh. Stupid. It's so annoying. It really, it really bothers me. It really freaking bothers me that this happens because- 80%? Come on! They all like me! They all like me. Anyway, um, can I make you perhaps convert? Yeah, if I give you how much money would I need? 215. We should be able to make that soon enough. Yeah, alright. So we'll wait. Hopefully it doesn't fire just now. I just hope it, it won't fire. Uh, in fact, you want your son to what? Okay, 200 gold and give him Aquadot. You know what? I'm actually tempted to accept this. Just because I got, I'm going to be able to convert him. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I need the money. So you're at 50. So you will actually accept... Uh, never mind. I thought he would accept... Um, religious conversion. Oh, right. We're, we're at war. Ah, I totally forgot about that. Alright, never mind. So we'll have to wait before we can really do that, because we're at war, we can't do anything until this war is over. So that actually annoys me quite a bit, because, yeah, there's not much I can do. And who's the who's the guy who hates me so much? I don't know why I keep clicking on the societies. Um, why do you hate me so much? You want to be on the council. What do you even hold? You hold that. Can I prison you? No. Is there anything else I can do? I can mark you for death. I can intimidate you for a favor. Um, sure, let's do that because I might be able... I might be able to... Uh, can I not use a favor to make you stay out of factions? Eh, of course not. Well, that sucks. That really freaking sucks. So what can I do with this favor now? Nothing. Great. Um, I can arrange a marriage. Huh. Hmm. Right, that favor was kind of useless then. I thought I could maybe force him to stay out of factions, but apparently that is not. Prevent uh, peace, blah... And or stop backing plots, but not force someone to join factions you lead, but not ah uh, damn, I cannot make him stop factions. Well that sucks. Hmm. Alright, fine. Well that was kind of a waste then, but Oh well, his lands are the ones that are being besieged right now, so I guess that's cool. Um there's a holy war against Abyssinia, that's fine. So the Fatimids are busy. Uh he should like me. Uh, I basically just gave him this province because well it, it kind of rightfully belongs to the Fatimids, and um, also I just wanted him to be happy to like me so that he doesn't attack me. Because I can't really, I would be so mad 
if the Fatimids would attack me right now. That would really suck. So, yeah, I hope that this doesn't happen. Now, there is still... Right, there was one member in the faction, this guy. If I send him a gift, 200 gold, he should like me. So I would then be able to convert him as well. Okay, there's a few people I could now convert. If only the war was over, we could really do a lot of good stuff. Anyway, um, so you are both going there, I hope, yes. 4,000 men of the Seljuk Revolt. Um, and then there's 15,000 men there. Okay, we can crush the 4,000 and then go and move on to these guys. All right, so let's get you guys together. And these 9,000 will have you immediately move on there. And then we'll get you together and you strike at the 4,000. Just because. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I should just get them all together. But then again, we might take attrition, which I also don't want to do. So, all right, we'll, we'll do it like this. Um, okay, get you together. We have our best commander in the center, please. Then we have, oh, we have some really great commanders. Oh, look at that. 25, 22, 21. I like it. All right. So, yeah, we should be able to squish them relatively easily. And we've improved relations with this guy, which is perfect. So, we can now convert him too. Um, why does he like me that much? Send gift, improve relations. Oh, you actually send him a gift. Well, I guess I could have used that otherwise. Um, so, let's see. Who else doesn't like me that I could improve relations with? I'll probably send you to arrest the Antioch guy. And then who else of my vassals doesn't particularly like me? It's Kermanshah, which is here. Okay, so let's try and improve relations. Maybe we can get a better Grand Vizier. Yeah, he likes me a lot, but I think this guy is much better. So I'll send you... You are leading troops for me, which you don't need to do, because uh, you suck anyways. We'll prove relations with you. Perfect. Um, all right, all right. We'll move on. Whew. So so far so good. I just hope that this f doesn't fire. Don't. Just don't fucking do it. All right. This guy is very pissed off. Um, yes, but you are Shia. And wait. Why? How? How do you have Syria again? I gave it to this guy. What? How did he lose it? I don't get it. I don't actually get how he... What? How is that possible? Alright, whatever. So now I have a guy who hates me, who has Syria. I should have killed him. I should have banished him, I guess. But anyway, um, I have inherited Semnian from a guy. Alright, that's fine. And you have forced someone to join our factions. So even more... <sighs> Fucking hell. So annoying. Alright, can you guys freaking move? It would be nice if you would move. Faster, please. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, we've improved late. At least that's good. We improved relations quickly. And Ismail Dodaid wants to join the Hashashins. Well, sure. Go with my blessings. Awesome. So he now just arrived at our court. Great. And he is... Right. Let's see if we can get him into the assassins as well. Although that should be that should be the same thing. And um, yes, okay, so basically everyone who's joining the Fidean automatically also accepts to join the assassins. I like that. So is there anyone is there anyone in our court that is not part of the Actually, you know what? You should be you're not a Fidean. Let's see if that works truly. With everybody. No, it doesn't work with everyone. Okay, interesting. Well, that's fine. But it works with a lot of people, I suppose. Good. We still have this dangerous... Just don't fire. Please. Don't fucking fire before I can do anything. That would, that would just annoy me so much. Alright. So we attack, destroy a big part of the army, and then we'll march on these 14,000. How many men is this? 15,600. Alright, cool. Yep. And we are, of course, wounded. Why am I leaving troops again? I'm I, I'm a craven. I shouldn't be leaving troops. Oh, well. Anyway, we've won. And we are taking attrition. Let's uh, go ahead and meet this guy. And I would like him to lead. And please, can I just not lead troops? I, I just suck at leading troops, alright? Let's stop that. Um, we have gained divine power. Oh, right! For getting people into the assassins to gain divine power. Alright, let's see. Recruit this guy to the assassins as well. 
Let's just do it with everyone, really. Yes. Alright, let's do that. Um, ask the question. And he will join us. Oh no, I think he will not join. What? Whatever. Um, okay, a lot of people don't want to. Now, we're taking massive attrition here. Oh, that sucks. And I don't really want to attack crossing that river. So I think we'll just... Ah, so much attrition though. Alright, where, where are the rivers? Between everywhere, basically. Alright. I'll go this way then. Or, you know what? I'll siege Basra, which is your capital. So you're going to be very pissed off about that, I think. 16,000 men. I just can't attack 16,000 men. It's a bit much. Okay, we are scarred. Good. I also would hate to die right now. Uh, stupid rebellions. Okay, wow, we're improving relations quickly with these guys. They, I mean, it doesn't matter to them, though. They're all still in factions. What is, why, why do you hate me? I could send you a gift. Plus 34. Hmm. What do you hold? Medina. Wait, are you telling me your freaking father died? No, please no. Yeah, his freaking father died before I could convert him. Gosh damn it. Uh, fine. Um. <sighs> fine. Fine. I will not do anything right now. I'll just stay here and maybe uh, assault this holding if I can. Oh god, the attrition is so terrible. Alright, just attack. Yeah, we need to get... Alright, so at least now we can siege without taking massive attrition. Why was he not taking attrition there? His plan was 20. Why is it so low here? Not really sure. But I guess we'll just stay here. A lot of our troops are mercenaries and holy orders, so they will reinforce, uh, which is good. 16,000 men. Yeah, we'll just stay here, I guess, and, and siege and see what happens. Um, a loyal vassal. Yeah, he wants... To, giving us 200 gold and we owe him a favor. Uh, I will insult him, actually. You know what? Can I convert him? All oh, right, no, we're at war. God damn. I'm not sure how often I will... I will make that stupid mistake. All right. So, we cannot do anything because we're in this stupid war that was declared before we could do anything. I'm... Uh, a bit annoyed at that. But, oh well. Oh well. As soon as... We've crushed these guys. We can basically basically just uh, take all of their stuff away, which is going to be nice. Come on, break break this quick. Why are we always losing men? Anyway, um, we fulfilled our ambition to build a war chest. So what can I go for now? Grooming an heir. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. So there's no point in taking it. And we have what? Build a temple? A mosque has been built in Nubia. All right, good for you. Good for you. Um, come on. Sack it. We're actually making money from that as well. And we are definitely winning the war now. So unless, I, I guess, yeah, unless he decides to come at us with his troops. But he has so many more men than we do. I don't want to attack him. He has to come. He's the attacker, after all. Um, also, we have a converted a subject. Good. So we control Arabia. So as long as he... Oh, that's good. So we get Ticking War Score. As long as he sieges this, we gain Ticking War Score. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll just... Uh, we'll just leave it at that. And you might want to... Convert, no? No. Yeah, so Elam is being sieged. Okay, so he's coming at us now. 16,000 though against 11. I don't think we can hold that. I don't think we can hold that. There's a river between here and Khuzestan. There are no other rivers between here and Tigris. He's going to arrive on the 16th of March. 14th of March. Will he stop? He will not stop. I thought we could at least get the river crossing. Sheena will... No, he will not stop. 16th of March. Oh, he will. Okay, cool. For some reason, he was slowed down. All right, so we'll have the river on our side. We have good commanders. Uh, he has 4,000 heavy infantry. I think we lose this. 
But what kind of commandos does he have? He's not a good commander himself. And I don't think that this guy is a good commander either. So yeah, we have much better command. You know what? We'll try this. We're heavily outnumbered. We have such good commanders. And we'll have the river on our defense. Come on, please. Show what you what you can do. Come on. Please. Oh, it's looking bad. It's looking terrible. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No victory for us. Doing a good... Uh, maybe? Maybe? Uh, no, we're running. Alright. What a freaking loss. What a freaking decisive loss we've had. Wow. Alright, so actually he lost way more men than we did. He lost 6,000. We lost 3,000. So it was actually not a bad deal that we fought this. Overall, I think that was actually probably a good idea. The problem is, even more people are going to be pissed off. Alright, let's get someone as a spy master, maybe. He wants to become a counselor. Which means he will probably get prestige. Yeah, let's have him on the council. And... Yeah, of course, I cannot convert him because of reasons. Um, I think I'll hire the Agarap company as well. 27... We have the money to support that. Alright, let's hire these extra 4,000 men. Just so we can win this war. And just so we also look stronger in the eyes of our vassals. Because that... Oh my gosh. So many dangerous factions. <sighs> I could so deal with it. Just not while we're at war. I could I could convert so many people. I'm very sad about this. Oh, and we've converted a province. And the Caliph likes us for it. Great. Uh, so what is converted? Ooh, a holy site. So that strengthens our religion. Very nice. So that means I will send you to Medina now. Because that's the other holy site that we've got. That needs to be converted as well. Very nice. And Baghdad is still Sunni. Alright, I get it. Alright, cool. But I like that quite a bit. So where are you retreating to? You're going over there. And these 4,000 men I'll have go here. Good. Alright, well, we're not going to lose this war immediately, but he might now make his way to Arabian territory, and that means we'll lose our ticking war score. Um, we're still making money, barely, but we're making money, so that's okay. I'm just afraid that this faction is going to fire. That would really suck. And he's gaining his troops back quickly, too. 12,000. It ha if we had not t uh, taken this huge attrition, we would have done so much better. Okay, we can still imprison people. It all has to wait. It all has to wait. And you want to join the Hashashians. You're already part of the assassin. Right? F fine. He arrived at my court. <laughs> he went from my court to arrive at my court, but we gained free prestige. Or piety, I should say, so that's good. Um, Alright, now. You are cavalry leader. I suppose I want to have you in the center, and then probably this guy is a, well, no, this guy on the sides, yeah. And we'll actually have to move a little bit over here, because he's going after our army, I'm pretty sure of that. And I want to stop, yep, oh, now he's taking position, great. Alright, cool, cool. So we'll meet up with the Arab company, perhaps we'll go even up to Mecca, just to see what happens. And... We're improving relations. Wow, this guy is nuts. He's such a good Grand Vizier. Alright, so he should like me even more. We have a favor on him. Cool. Alright, come on. He's still reinforcing troops. Alright, so once we have these guys together, that's 12,000 men. But he's defending in mountains. Uh, so once again, that means I can't really do much. But at least we can stay here without taking too much attrition. Right? 10,000 men. I don't want to attack him in the mountains. I just don't feel like doing that. Um, yeah, whatever. Don't really mind. We are making money, so everything is good, really. Get you guys to... Do I want to attack? I don't want to attack in mountains. I just don't feel like doing that. Alright, well, um, I guess I'll just stay here for a little bit. We'll see uh, if we have an... We have some sort of a 
way to attack him. Perhaps he just moves away or whatever. But for now, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll come back next time. Probably I will continue this war a little bit and wait for an opening because just, you know, having two armies standing next to each other is not that interesting. Perhaps I will even attack into mountains if I run out of patience. We'll have to see. But that was it for me for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.